Hi guys, how are you? I'm good, thanks for asking. Welcome back to my channel. I'm excited about this video because I said I would do it several weeks ago and then I never did. I'm also learning how to hold my new phone because it's a 6 plus and it's gigantic. So it's not just my little, like I used to, I used to hold my phone like, I don't know, but now it's like full hand, have to figure it out. So that's all. I have Mr. Pierce with me. Say hi. Nothing? Nothing? Okay, fine. So he's playing. Um, Phoebe is napping, and I want to do this video for you. So, a couple weeks ago, maybe even a couple months ago, I don't know, I made a video showing you that I was redoing my... Erin Condren notebook and I was gonna combine them and make them into my control journal and oh my goodness it was gonna be so cool it didn't happen well it did happen I took it apart put it all the way I wanted it put it back together started filling it out and I just I don't like it I don't like it I don't like it <laughs> it just for my perfectionist brain it it just, it could not be perfect enough. And I know on Fly Lady and everything, you're not supposed to be perfect. It's not supposed to be a perfectionist thing, but it just, I can't get past it. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I'd like, I have ideas kind of running through and I've been watching home control management blah, journal videos on YouTube and I'm kind of taking ideas from each one that I like you know but I can't put one together right now and I know you're not supposed to put it all together at once that's one of the big rules is don't think that you have to have your journal complete before you actually start taking care of your household and so I'm working on that I think I've got a couple ideas how to like simplify it way down and then slowly add to it. But we'll have to see. But anyway, I'm going to turn you around and I'm going to show you what I had done with my notebook. And I really liked the idea of it. It just, it got to be too much. And I, every time I started filling it out, I started feeling way overwhelmed and working on it to make it like cute. I just got way overwhelmed. So I got, I've got to figure something else out because if I'm going to be overwhelmed just with a notebook, I'm never going to get stuff done. So, I'm going to turn you around. It's already, I'll warn you, it's already uncoiled. Because last time you saw it, it was uncoiled. And then I combined the life planner and notebook and recoiled them. Started filling it out. And then I decided I didn't like it. So, I uncoiled it again to save some pages that I want saved. But I'm going to turn you around and I'm going to kind of give you a tour of what I had done so maybe if you like the idea you can do it for yourself but I just I've got to figure something else out because it was freaking my brain out so I'm gonna turn it around okay 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 so here we are with the uncoiled journal um, I have that sticking out like that just because I want to remember something about that page that's all <laughs> um, but here it was just pretend it has a coil on it and I'm going to go through it with you. I had business cards and stickers and stuff in my pouch. Then my notebook or a note page. Then the 2017 calendar. Then I started with October and here's the monthly. Why do I look crooked? I guess it's the way I'm holding my phone. Um, I feel like, I don't know, here we go. Sorry guys. Um, I didn't even get this filled out. Like I didn't know, I really didn't want this to turn into a planner. So I didn't fill it out at all. Um, I was going to, but I didn't. <laughs> and see that, because that's overwhelming. Like what am I going to put on it? Do, do I put cleaning schedule? Do I put goals? Do I put my scripture schedule? Which started... A week ago almost two weeks ago and I haven't done it it's ridiculous um, but so that's the monthly spread and then what I did was I had it to where it would be like weekly goals to do is what I want to get accomplished and then like week one 
the dates in the zone. And I'll show you zones later. And then it was going to be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday to do. That's not going to happen. Um, and I made the mistake of being stupid and putting, like, filling all these out. So I've lined all of the pages like this. I've put all of that up there. It's it's horrible. You don't ever do that unless you want to know, unless you know you're going to like it. Because now I can't use any of these pages. And it was like that for the whole month. Oh, and I already took out week two because it was all filled out. And now I wish I hadn't because I could have shown you what it looked like and why it was so overwhelming. But I took it out, like I ripped it out a long time ago. <sighs> Excuse me. Um... So this is what kind of what I wanted to put in here was morning and before school retreat, start laundry, do your scripture, the weekly day, like the home blessing hour, free day, all those kind of things. Um, zone cleaning, which would be whatever zone I was in and what needed to happen that day. A quick tidy and evening before bed routines. Um, and that'd be like dinner time-ish and then before bed and then the to-dos. Which I probably have to take all those out. Maybe I can save them. Um, and see, I had. And I just, I got to where I was running out of room on the lines. And I just, I didn't have room. And I made it so complicated. And then, like, I, I want not just general. I want step by step. So I've got to find a happy median. You know, and each month was like that. So there's November was the monthly. And then I lined the pages. And then let's see, where's December? Where are you, December? I'm making a mess, but that's okay. Where are you, December? There's December. And so don't, don't fill this out before you know you like it or not. Because that was the dumbest thing I could have ever done. And I guess I could still use these pages that don't have the days written on them and just ignore the lines. So I might do that. And then after after all of that, after my what was going to be my schedules and routines and things, I um, had my pocket folder. And it has my annual calendar, notepad, protractor so I could make my lines. And then all my stickers in the back. And then here's my routines. I had routines, baby steps, 11 commandments, home blessing hour, and the weekly plan that I was going to make for myself. Um, and in the routines I had morning routine, before school routine, after school routine, evening routine, and bedtime routine. And see this, I think this is why. Like a person probably shouldn't have that many routines but I think it would really help me and the kids to just know we can look and see because even after almost two months of school I'm still having to remind my children about stuff and it drives me absolutely bonkers and I'm still trying to get you guys right I'm sorry <clears throat> and then the baby steps I printed out all nice and the eleventh command, the eleven commandments, and home blessing. I didn't get a chance to fill out, and I was working on a weekly plan, but I've got to figure something else out for that. And then these were my zones, and so I have one, two, three, four, five, six zones in my house, because um, that's just how it's gonna work. That's like I want to keep my zones. I like how these worked out. I like how it was gonna flow, and how they were kind of related. Um, so zone one is the kitchen, zone two is my master bedroom and upstairs landing, and I have all the detailed cleaning that I want to do in those zones. Um, zone three is the bathrooms and the laundry room. I have a full bathroom upstairs, <clears throat> and downstairs is a half bathroom, and the other half's the laundry room. Zone four is the dining area entryway and stairs and I know that sounds like a lot but the entryway is teeny tiny and the stairs aren't that hard either and I just did the entryway and stairs together because they just kind of flow um zone five is my kids rooms two kids rooms so that should be easy and there's all the detailed cleaning that I wanted to do in there um 
and zone six is the living room and that's probably the biggest room in the house it's got the tv the couch the armchair the animals um snake and rats and a bookshelf and of course our desk and computer area so that one um is the biggest that's why it's alone and then extra paper um then I was going to start my notes and these two are my quote these two are my quote pages that I was going to do and I might keep them um and then let's see what did I need oh these two I'm not going to show you <laughs> they have personal information inside them so I'm going to flip them together but then this was my note portion of it and as you can see um, I still have quite a few pages and so I'm going this is why I took it apart for I'm going to keep these because like this is Christmas dinner um, for 2016 for when I go shopping you know I don't over shop this time like I did last time um, <laughs> that's our baby name list how we were choosing baby names you know um, meals that we like my homemaking goals, wife goals, being a mom goals, you know, goals that we did back at the beginning of the year, which I'm probably not sticking to very well. Um, a couple recipes, some more meal ideas, just stuff. So that's how my notebook was laid out. Here's some more meal ideas. Can you tell we kind of like food around here? <laughs> and then, um, just the rest of it's just blank notebook paper and that I will keep and save so that is my notebook that's how I had it set up and I wish mm, I shouldn't have taken that week two page out because like seeing it blank like that doesn't look as bad but when I had it filled out you guys it was ridiculous so that's why I just I gotta figure something out so I'm gonna start from scratch I have a three ring binder I think I have some graph paper, notebook paper, cardstock. I have, um, what are those called? Um, you know, the clear page protectors, I guess they're called. You slide the page into them and they're clear. I have those. So I just, I'm going to have to play around with it and make it simple to start with and add to it as I go. Because obviously, I'm that was just, whoa. That was a nice idea, but I wanted to make it too complicated. So maybe after I figure out routines and stuff that I want and like add to my control journal as I go, like Fly Lady says, then maybe I can transfer back into something like that. But right now, I think the three ring binder is going to be the safest bet. So that is all I have for you today. Are you going to speak now? No. Hmm. <gasps> Boo! Nothing. <laughs> Tough crowd. Um, that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification button so that you get notified when my next video comes up. And I will talk to you all later. Have a fantastic afternoon. Bye, guys.